Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, the Jungle Beauty Goddesses are going to answer the question, why your ancestors chose you in this lifetime to carry on the family's baton? What gifts did you come to share that the family have worked on for centuries? What, who did you come to heal? What karmic patterns did you come to break? Why did your ancestors say, hey, you're the one that we need to carry on the family name. You're the one that we need to change the karmic debt for our ancestry. So that is what we're going to discuss in today's reading. For those of you who are new to my channel, the Jungle Beauty Goddesses are cloth dolls that I created, who some of them are sitting behind me. And they are the main characters in my science fiction book series. I created my oracle deck based on my doll's personalities. They are aligned with the chakras, the colors, the days of the week, the elements, uh, gemstones. They, e they even are correlated with the traditional tarot deck. I created my tarot deck um, with pictures that I took, you know, from my doll. I based the cards based on the doll's personalities. And I, when I made the cards, I made them with like, with different oils and herbs and um, that I actually put inside of the, the paste, you know, to make the cards. So my decks are, God, they smell so good. But anyway, so for those of you who I know that some people are, are new and they've been inquiring like who are these dolls so basically yes these the whole story came to me in a dream and I created this series based on this dream and I created this deck based on these dolls personalities so the Jungle, jungle Beauty Goddesses would like to just get into the reading on why your ancestors selected you for this lifetime. Thank you guys so much for watching, for subscribing. I really appreciate you. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darlings. I would like for you to take a moment to allow your mind to settle into your spirit by taking in a deep breath to the count of nine, holding it to the count of nine, and blowing it out to the count of nine. This will allow your mind to select the butterfly that most resonates with the message that you need to hear. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help someone find their way. The time stamps for each butterfly color are located in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Hello, darling. If you selected the hot pink butterfly, this reading is for you. First, I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about why your ancestors chose you to carry on the family baton in this lifetime. 
The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chavi, who represents our third chakra, our self-mastery, courage. Ooh, she says, unleash, unleash your confidence. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And she represents our heart chakra, our emotions, our ability to love and forgive. And her message to you is, true love is wanting what is best for the highest good for all parties. Okay, you got an interesting family story. I can already tell. Okay. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai, who represents our second chakra, our ability to feel joy, pleasure, uh, to have healthy and loving relationships. Let me see what her message is for you. She says the magic is always in the moment. And the next card I have for you, again, we pull it in Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai, which has to do with our second chakra, our ability to be creative, our reproductive organs. So, you know, having children, but also whether or not we're like codependent or we have, you know, healthy relationships with other people our ability to feel joy in this lifetime. So let me go ahead and see what this message is for you. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai's, her message for you is, do it now. So your ancestors chose you for this lifetime to do what they did not have the courage to do. I know why your ancestors chose you for this lifetime. In the past, Every decision that they ever made, it was always for the highest good for everybody else. And they were unable to um, live the life of their dreams. They were unable to be writers and painters and singers and dancers. They had to work in the fields. They had to um, you know, do hard labor. And they want you all It's so sweet. Oh my goodness. They want you to live the life of your dreams. They don't want you making all your decisions based on the family. Like, um, they don't, you know, they don't want you sacrificing your happiness and your joy for the family. They want you to live the life of your dreams and they want you to do it for them as well. And they said that they created this foundation so that you could live a better life and they want you to do it right now so whatever you're doing right now and if you're doing it out of obligation because you feel like oh I have to do this because I have to do it for my family or if I don't do this uh, my family won't survive or my family won't feel proud of me your ancestors are saying look dude girl guy you know what I'm saying look we, we went through a lot we went through a lot and we well we, we, we did what we had to do to survive but we don't want that for you. We want you to live the life of your dreams. We want you to be a painter. We want you to be a ballerina. We want you to sing and dance and go for gold. They, they said, look, don't, don't make us have worked in those hot fields and die trying to create a life just for you to live another obligatory life of trying to please other people. So when they say true love is wanting what is best for the highest good for all parties, at first I thought, you know, maybe they want you to make all your decisions based on how it would benefit everybody else. But this is actually the message they're saying that they, this is in, in the past, this is how they had to live in order to survive. But they're saying in this life, oh my God, listen, they want you to unleash your confidence. They want you to unleash your confidence, unleash your talent. Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby, she represents self-mastery, our ability to live courageously, our ability to, our self-worth, our self-esteem, our, uh, you know, to believe in ourselves. And they want you not to live in fear and not, oh and not to worry about what other people think of you and then oh my god and then they say to you the magic is always in the moment they don't want you putting it off they lived a life 
worried about you know um, preparing for the next day preparing for the next year preparing for you know well if we don't you know do the farm then people won't the potatoes won't grow you know what I'm saying they they everything they did was for the future and they never lived in a moment but you are the future that they worked very hard for oh my god you are the future that they sacrificed for and they want you to live in the moment and but you know what else they want you to do it right dang on now so if there is a dream in your heart there's something you want to do that maybe is you know most people think it's kind of outrageous or that you know you want to write a story or you want to ch start a YouTube channel or you want to paint or you want to draw or you have this crazy idea for a business and everybody is telling you to be practical your ancestors said look dude look girl look look you know look girl you know what I'm saying they're saying to you look we everything we did was for the future and you are now that future that we sacrificed for. We want you to make everything that we have gone through worth it, okay? By living the life of your dreams and not living a life of obligation to make other people happy. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling, if you selected the teal butterfly, this reading is for you. So first I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective understanding of why your ancestors chose you to carry on the baton for this lifetime. The first card I have for you is from, let's see, let's get it all. We have Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara and her message to you is safety first. And she represents the root chakra, so we're, and she also represents our relationship to our community and to our ancestors. Her element is earth, which has to do with structure and stability. So um, let's see what the other cards are saying so I can see if, what message, why your ancestors chose you for this lifetime. We have Jungle Beauty Goddess uh, Fire, and her message to you, she represents the third eye. Her element is air. Um, let's see what she wants. She wants you to be original. Okay, this is going to be fun. The next card I have for you, we're pulling in Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar again, who represents our third eye, wisdom, ingenuity, creativity, and her message to you is, you can create, aww, you can create whatever you want. Oh my goodness, be original. Okay, let me see, I'm excited, let's see what this next card is. So the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara who represents the throat chakra and our ability to think logically, the mind. Let's see what her message is to you from your ancestors. Oh, she says, how you think will determine your happiness. You know what? Your ancestors chose you for this particular lifetime. Every message is so clear. I'm sorry. I feel so silly. They chose you for this lifetime, darling, because when in the previous lifetimes, they had to always think about safety. They had to always think about, you know, building a structure and a foundation. And they did. Oh, my God. I can't believe the message is coming through tonight. They did all of this so that you can live freely so if you can think back and you know centuries ago and lifetimes ago you know humans were you know a lot of people died in factories and we you know there weren't as many safety precautions in place and a lot of times everything that they did they had you know they lost a, wait, a lot of them lost their lives they lost their lives building the foundation of the future
<gasps> yes. Safe. So they, they had to focus on safety first. Their message to you is that they don't want you to live in fear. This is why they're telling you how you think will determine your happiness. But what they're really saying is, look, look. This is again, you have journey beauty guys so far. It says you can create whatever you want. And they want you to be original. So listen, your ancestors, they were forced to work in factories, work in fields. They were forced to work in a community as a group. You know, you, you know, people couldn't say, you know, there was only very, you know, only the wealthy could say, look, I want to be a poor, I want to write poetry, child. That's what I want to do with my life. I want to write. Most of the people had to focus on building a foundation, building a structure. They had to focus on survival. That's why the safety first. That was their challenge. And they couldn't dream. Aww. They couldn't dream, but they want you to dream. And they want you to live fearlessly. Oh my goodness. And they want you to be your own person. They don't want you to do what everybody else is doing. They don't want you to be the next Beyonce or the next, you know, Rod Stewart or whoever. They want you to be you. They want you to come up with your own ideas and be your own person. Because they didn't have the freedom to do that. Because when you're focused on surviving, you know, you have to do what everybody else is doing for, for the safety of the group. So, and they say you can, oh, listen, listen, listen. If you are watching this video and you are wondering why your ancestors chose you, they have provided you with the structure and the foundation that you need to, to propel your life forward. They're telling me to tell you, look, we did a lot. We worked really hard to build structure so that we could carry our dreams into the future. And we, and so many of us died because conditions weren't safe at the time and we had to think about survival. But we want you to think about creating a life that you really want. You know, a dream, like they want you to sing, they want you to dance, they want you to paint, they want you to write poetry, they want you to design clothes, it says they want you to create the life you want, not the life you have to. They want you to be your own person because they've already done the work. And they're telling you right now that the most important thing they want you to know is to change the way you think. It says how you think will determine your happiness. So right now, if you're watching this video, if you're thinking, oh, I can't do this or I can't do that, if you're worried about... Well, if I, you know, if I go to school to be a teacher, I'm not going to make any money. Or if I, they're telling you, please don't think like this. Don't, you know, your thinking will determine your happiness. You can say, well, I'm just going to write a grandchild and I'm going to create a dance class for people. You know what I'm saying? They want you thinking outside of the box. They want you to make your dreams come true. So you are carrying the baton into the future. They they set the foundation for safety, right? For the genes to be able to incubate and grow and develop and to become healthy. But you are what they work so hard for. You are what they die for. And they really need you to stop um, thinking negatively, to stop being fearful. Um, they want you to think in terms of being happy. They want you to be original. They don't want you doing what everybody else is doing just because everybody is working for this factory or people are, you know, everybody is um, creating a restaurant. They're telling you to create your own world, you know. And then it also says um, you can create whatever you want. That's the message. That's your ancestors chose you. To carry the baton into the future because they have already set the foundation. They've already died. They've already built, I mean, died in terms of not being safe because building this, everything they did was based on survival. But they're saying you don't have to worry about survival. You don't have to worry about dying the way they die. They want you to live fearlessly. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.
Hello darling, if you selected the red butterfly, this reading is for you. First, I'm going to go over all of the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about what, why your ancestors chose you for this lifetime. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai, who represents our second chakra, our creativity, our ability to live in the moment, to um, find joy, uh-oh. If you are waiting to deserve happiness, it will elude you forever. You know, what I'm finding with this particular read, it seems like most of the ancestors have the same message, but I'm going to keep looking at the cards. The message is, we lived a life of struggle and hardship to build the foundation. We put happiness off so that we could eat, and they don't want that for their descendants. So let me just go ahead and pull the next card for you. And the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobi. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobi's message to you is... Oh my God, be brave. Don't look back. The ancestors are telling you, you got this. Like, don't worry about... Don't worry about bills. Don't worry about money. Go for gold. Go for your dream. Be brave. Don't look back. They want you to go for gold. They, if you're thinking about taking it along to start that business, they want you to do it. If you're thinking about writing a book, if you anything that you're thinking about doing that is going to move your life forward, they're saying, be brave, don't look back. And look, what else did they say? If you are waiting to deserve happiness, it will elude you forever. What are they telling you? You know what, y'all? This hand made me want to turn off this camera, finish editing book three, and just go and stand on the corner and sell it to any, you know, to go to and find them. Do you know what I'm saying? Just like, they're saying, look, we have already put the work in. You know, happiness is not something you wait for. It's something you grab. It's something you that you, uh, you know, that you own in the moment. You possess it in the moment. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God, let me see what the next card is. Okay, so it's, okay, let's see. You have Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby, who represents the third chakra, self-mastery, courage, confidence, uh, belief in ourselves. And some people are simply not meant to be in your life. All right, you know what? I don't know who this message is for. I don't want to try to tailor it to a big general audience, but I get the feeling that somebody's ancestors are saying, you're, you're with, hanging with the wrong people, child. You're either in a bad relationship, or you have friends who aren't good for you, but um, they're telling you to leave this person. They don't want you to look back. I think that they feel that you're not living an authentic life, that you're not you're not be making healthy choices in terms of the people that you surround yourself with and that you're not reaching your full potential, that you're not trying to live as productively and as um, courageously as you could and should in terms of your dreams and goals. I have one more card for you. Let's see what the message is. Uh, you have Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobby. So again, we're talking about the third chakra. We're talking about our self-esteem and our self-worth. And what is her message to you? Oh, man. She says, tap into your grit, which is really a good card. So listen, why did your ancestors choose you for this particular lifetime? Your ancestors chose you. Oh, my goodness. They chose you because they want you to live the life that they never had the courage to live. Because you have three cards from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobi, who represents our third chakra, 
she deals with self-esteem, self-worth, self-mastery. So what I'm picking up is that your ancestors were uh, you know what I'm picking up they stayed in unhealthy relationships because this was a time when women could not um, you know live without uh, you know you had to have a husband or women were looked down upon this is what I'm picking up and they they stay in, in unhealthy relationships because they had to but they're telling you this is not something you have to do you know you can have your own credit you can you know uh, women can go to school because there was cause during this time period women were not able to be educated um, they surrounded themselves by people that really weren't good for them who didn't encourage them to grow because at that time this was the only way they could survive but they're saying that because they were around people who were not you know people who were not good for them um, but they had to and they're telling you to be brave they're saying be brave and don't look back leave people alone who do not um, have your best interests at heart and they're asking you to tap into your grit and your grit is that part of you man that says you know what I don't care if I have to walk to school I'll, I'll walk I don't care what I have to do to make my dreams come true that is exactly what I'm gonna do I don't care if I have to stay up all night and write while the kids are asleep that's that part of you that does not make excuses they're telling you to not make excuses in terms of going for your goals and dreams they want you to master yourself now um, one of the things that I would tell you to do first and foremost is to find time to meditate and the reason I think meditation is important is because it gives you an opportunity to align with your higher self and I have always I read this but I believe I believe this I don't even I believed it so long that I don't even know why it's such a deep part of who I am is that the part of you that needs to change or solve a problem you can't solve that problem being in the same mindset that you're in right now because if you could have changed it you would have already changed it does that make sense I hope that makes sense so I feel like you have to look at a problem from a higher perspective from a right because you need you can't have this mind to change the situation that you're in because if you could have changed it you would have already done so so meditation to me it allows you to connect with your higher self so that a part of you that is you know in alignment with with I like to say you know um, with your spirit guides with God you know what I mean with infinite wisdom th this will help you figure out what you need to do to actually bring about change in your life so the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is meditate I know there's there's a, a lot of information on how to meditate um, you know just even if you just take 30 minutes 15 minutes 10 minutes just to quiet your mind and sit by yourself I'm a, as I've gotten older I really don't care for TV a lot like I do watch my things that I like but it's like a treat like you know I'll just stack everything up and then you know maybe when I'm eating dinner it take me like days to get through one episode because you know it's a treat because I like the house quiet I like things quiet I like the car quiet so I'm gonna ask you to quiet your world so you can get in alignment and hear and hear your higher self and um, that's that's one thing to do and once you start you know listening to your higher self you may want to you know I was gonna say you know buy some gemstones especially for your third chakra because you have three cards from jungle beauty goddess Charlie which is that's a lot and she represents our ability to live courageously our self-esteem and our self-worth so a good stone is um, tiger's eye but then also sunstone citrine um, man oh even this I think I, I can't even remember what the name of this is I think it's um, topaz or something this is good for your third chakra as well 
and you just want to focus on like it's two inches above your navel and you want to imagine like a golden light if, like one of the things I like to do and when I do this I feel like I'll, I become like a beast um, I like to imagine that there's like a, a light that connects with the Sun and that connects with my third chakra and then I become the Sun like so I first like this ray from the Sun connects with my third chakra that makes sense right and then we become one myself and the Sun and it gives me so much courage and so much energy that, that is something you can do to help open up and align your third chakra so that you can do what your ancestors want you to do which is they want you to, to not hang around people who do not have your highest good at heart they want you to not look back they want you to tap into your grit and move forward with your life and they're telling you this is their urgent message to you is if you're waiting to deserve happiness it will elude you forever and they are saying that they have there is a karmic pattern in your family lineage of self-sacrifice and martyrdom so where people like always do everything to make everybody else happy even if they're not happy and they want you to break that pattern they don't want you to be a people pleaser and they don't want you to be a person who's always thinking about everybody else's happiness at the sake of your own. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the violet blue butterfly, this message is for you. First, I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition of why your ancestors chose you for this lifetime to carry on the family baton. The very first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara, who represents our root chakra, our connect connection to our ancestors. And her message to you is health is wealth. Okay, sounds like somebody wants somebody to like cut back on the snacks or go to the gym or take better care of yourself or maybe it's something you already have. Let me look at the rest of these cards, draw. Okay, the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Nami, who represents our crown chakra. And her message to you is oh yeah. Yeah, this, this is a clear message. Your soul is hungry. Feed its solitude, walks in nature, and takes deep, slow breaths. <sighs> yeah, you, you see it, don't you? I know, right? It's like, wow. Your ancestors, they chose you. Oh, I get it. See, your ancestors, they were not able to take care of themselves. They had to, oh, it's so sad. They had to work really hard. They had to make a lot of sacrifices. And um, health was not a consideration for many generations in your family. But they're saying that they have already made the sacrifice for you and they want you to preserve the family DNA they want they they feel that I got a feeling that if you don't take care of yourself that your family lineage may end with your generation or so so I think that there is an urgent message that they really want you to take care of the DNA um, pattern the DNA pattern that you are carrying right now is they're all saying, look, we put a lot of work in. We've all been through a lot, but you are our last hope. But I want to see what the rest of the cards are saying for you. So the next message I have for you, again, we're pulling in the me. We're talking about the crown chakra, our connection to our higher self. And her message to you is, uh, you are one with all that is. So we're pulling in two cards from our crown chakra, our higher self. You are one with all that is. 
you are one with God. They want you to understand that you are not by yourself. You are not you are not by yourself. You are a part of of, of course of, of the universe of God. But in this particular lifetime, they really want you to to slow down. That's the message I'm getting. They want you to slow down. They want you to take better care of yourself. Let me look at the last card for you. And I'm going to pull this together a little bit tighter. So the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chavi. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Chavi represents our third chakra. And her message to you is... Some friends are really enemies and some enemies are really friends. You know what this hand is saying to me? There is somebody in your life that's telling you to take better care of yourself. There is somebody right now who's telling you to eat better and you're thinking, you know what, leave me alone. And your ancestors are saying that there are people in your life who really are looking out for your highest good. They're really looking out for your well-being but you really don't like being around them and the people who are supporting your bad habits like maybe your procrastination uh you not doing your best you not taking care of yourself you push you pushing yourself too much not getting your proper rest they're telling you that these people aren't good for you so i'm getting the feeling that that your ancestors are saying look we have been through a lot and we chose you to change the family dynamic of not making good decisions not um you know like i think there was was coming to me and so they were saying look we ate poorly because it was all we had but we don't you don't have to eat that way you don't have to live the way we lived so they want they they chose you because they want you, they feel that you have the proper DNA to carry on the family lineage. We have health is wealth. So this is this is their urgent message to you. And they feel that they have given you the, you know, the, um, I want to say the spiritual DNA or the physical DNA to carry on the family name. But if you don't change the people that you're around and if you don't change um your behaviors that this is going to that you you know this could be a possibly the end of your family lineage here on planet earth so this they're asking you to please you know let me go pull that card they're asking you to your, they say your soul is hungry, feet is solitude, walks in nature, and take deep, slow breaths. They really want you to take better care so of yourself. So I kept asking, why did they choose you for this lifetime? And what came to me is that this is a dire message for you, is that they didn't take care of themselves in the past either. This is a familiar pattern in your lineage, in your family, in your DNA is that the people just didn't take care of themselves and that um, it says the card that says some friends are really enemies and some enemies are really friends that there were these were tumultuous times there was a lot of wars there were a lot of wars so there was a lot of fighting and a lot of just um, yeah health was not something that was important and I'm getting the feeling that a lot of people lost limbs fighting these wars. There was a lot of there were a lot of diseases. A lot went down in this. Your family pattern that you need to break is that of not taking care of yourself. And it says you are one with all that is. What came to me is that if you I, I hate to give this message but if you don't take care of yourself we're all a part of you know the divine you know god we're all one but your family lineage is going to end if you don't change the dna pattern 
with your health now like if you don't eat healthy if you don't take care of yourself so they chose you because they feel that you live in a time where you have healthier food options you, there's there more there's more of a variety society is set up in a way where you don't have to go to war um, you don't have to live the life that they live even though um, they had choices some of them had to fight in wars but a lot of them didn't have to but it was just a way of life to just you know to war to fight you know tribes fighting each other that was just a part of their life and they're saying that um how they realize now that health is wealth like they spend a lot of their time you know killing other people to acquire like material goods and they uh, many of them lost their lives trying to you know loot and take things from other people because that was their way of life but they're but they died young so it was a um they're saying to you that they don't want you to live like this that health is wealth that if you live a life where you are thinking positively and if you're taking care of your body that is wealth and um and again just they just give a clear message like i said before they're asking you to you know to um, feed yourself solid you know your soul is hungry feed it solitude they want you to go for walks they want you to take deep breaths they want you to meditate and uh, they want you to leave the drama like leave people behind who don't mean you well and they're saying that during their time period they they um, there were a lot of wars and there were a lot of tribal fights and you know a lot of enemies and that's just the way they lived but they're saying that you are planted out in this time like maybe um, with the people that you're choosing to be around sometimes on the jobs that we have even in social media like when we leave uh, negative comments or you know really critical of other people they're saying war is warring and um, being combative is a part of your family lineage and they're asking you to move away from it and that you're all and that you're the last hope for your ancestors I really hope this message helps someone thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.